Good morning and welcome to WJZ.com. Right on time, 7 o'clock Harbor Taxi. This morning, very much like every other morning, very warm, very humid, and that sets the table for another very hot day. Let's go ahead and take a look at some temps around the area there, primarily what they were yesterday in the uh, low to low mid 70s right now, but everybody's going to balloon to 99 degrees this afternoon, heat indices of 108. There's the Bermuda High, but here's this frontal boundary that is slowly and surely making its way here. Slowly is the operational word. What we have going on right now is another heat advisory. In fact, from noon through 8 o'clock tonight, and we'll do it again tomorrow. Another marginal risk for severe weather by the Storm Prediction Center. A little bit of an adjustment, though, in uh, the thunderstorms in the forecast. Future cast has now being delayed a little bit till uh, uh, after dinner and through the bedtime hours, then through the overnight. Then we're going to queue it up, redo it again tomorrow. Very much the same deal. The front is just encountering resistance from that Bermuda high and slowing up. But eventually, high pressure over the uh, Ohio Valley is going to strengthen, went out, and push this offshore. I don't think we clear out Sunday as beautiful as it looks here. I think we have some debris clouds if you want to look at it that way. But clearly, temperatures will have dropped. 99 today feels like 108. Be careful out there. 77 degrees overnight. And there's that chance of later than dinner time thunderstorms. Let's see how it goes. I'm not saying something may not bubble up through the afternoon, but right now, that's the general thinking. 99 tomorrow with a real feel of 107. Steamy thunderstorms probable Saturday as frontal boundary continues to slowly move across the area. Then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, finally. 83, 82, 82, and 83 degrees. Some other good weather news right now. Uh, tropical depression, Fred. Very unorganized. This wind's 35 miles an hour as uh, he's moving over the Dominican Republic. Still expected to uh, track just slightly north of Cuba, across the Florida Straits and to the west coast of Florida as we move through the weekend. Thanks so much for stopping by WJZ.com.